Hey everybody, it's Ryan here from Android Calls. I'm here to talk about the Dell Venue 8. Uh, this is the 7000 series. I believe the model we're using here is the 7840. Uh, an amazing little device. We've seen it all the, I think it was CES that, that brought it out and people were just stunned by it. I mean, you don't really think Dell, you don't really think tablets. Um, but this kind of turned people on their, their sides. I mean, this is really kind of really nice. I really like it. It's got a nice feel. It's super thin and for that thinness, we're packing in a lot of pixels. It's got 2560 by 1600 pixels, I think is the number on it. It doesn't say uh, what the size of the battery is, but I think people are saying it's about 5500. You won't get official specs, but 5500 or 5800. And it makes it last and last and last. It's a quad core processor with 16 gigs uh, storage, two gigs of RAM, and uh, yeah, it's got the Intel processor inside, and it's running the latest Lollipop, actually, well, not latest Lollipop, it's 5.0.2, if I remember correctly, but if you take a look at it, it is running basically stock, unaltered uh, Lollipop ROM, and this is really nice, I mean, if you look at the apps they've installed themselves, there's only four Dell apps, and five third-party apps. There's no sort of bloat on here whatsoever. Um, so doing quite well. Uh, the screen is amazing. The the apps that I've run on it run very well. I haven't run into any sort of hiccups or any stuttering or running running out of memory. Um, so it's doing quite well. And I'll show a mountain. Maybe that'll load up and I'll show you that. Um, so yeah, while that's loading up, I'm going to talk about the fact you got the nice big speaker bar at the bottom uh, we do have a lot of little bezel around the top and corner and because of that I find it a little awkward to really hold sometimes so people say because of the the camera at the bottom you should be holding it upside down and this is where I don't know if the gyroscope doesn't even recognize this but upside down but I think this game time doesn't do the auto rotate but it uh, a little awkward that I'm holding my phone, my tablet, a little bit closer to my palm, and I'm just, you know, I'm not a fan of that. I just, no matter how I hold it, I feel like I'm holding it wrong. So either I'm covering up the camera so I can't do anything like Skype or anything, um, or I'm just weird. And then if you go to the back end of it, oops, the camera's in the bot, back camera's in the back here. So again, if I'm trying to take a picture, I'm holding it wrong, I'm covering it up. Just go to that camera just to show you. So yeah, oh, I want to take a picture. Oh crap, I'm covering it up. So I better turn it upside down. And as I'm holding it, I got to make sure I'm not touching anything in the front so I don't accidentally take a picture. You can see my messy, de messy desk here. Um, so you'll notice that it has the two stereoscopic cameras up there. And the idea being that when you take a picture, and you can take a regular picture, video, panorama, burst mode, or this depth snapshot, it's supposed to be able to now measure the distance between different things and get you that stereo image and you can start measuring things. So you would think it's cool if so I just hit the button and tap it and say, okay, well, get what's the information I got? And again, the gyroscope is not exactly too good. And the camera's not that great either. I gotta admit that. It's really kind of blue. But it's still processing. And I have nowhere where it says, you know, how do you figure that out? I have to go back to the gallery mode go into the gallery mode, pick that picture, and now I can, you know, start doing stuff like measuring. And they actually have a little thing where you can take pictures and measure, and I'm not gonna go through the tutorial now with you guys, but maybe in a different video I'll do. Watch them later. So if I wanted to, I could say, what's the distance between here and here? That's eight inches, and uh, I don't think so. It's not really meant to be super close anyways. It's really meant to be, um, you know, far and medium distance away kind of thing. You can measure area. So you can measure area, like that's kind of cool. I mean, again, kind of really cool. I don't want to change that. Um, but what you can also do is adjust the focus. So and again, because it's too close, it doesn't really, can't really measure how close things are and whatnot. It's having a real issue with that sometimes. But I mean, again, I guess if you're in, you needed that for some reason, that'd be kind of neat to play with. And then here's the other, the gallery. The gallery's a little bit weird. Um, you can plunk in all your your social media on here, so I can plunk in 
my Dropbox, my Picasa, Google Photos, and Facebook Photos. And if I say all, it'll really load up this area that it just gets really hard for me to determine which ones are my camera shots and which ones are my Facebook and which ones are my that. So it gets hard to sort of go through and I have to pick. I don't want all, I just want camera. But what if I want, I had pictures on there, I had folders on there of, I had some movies and stuff. So, okay, well, uh, others. Okay, so there's my movies I can get that I've had, I put on the SD card or something, right? So I can watch a movie. Again, the gyroscope just a little bit tricky to make sure it works. Yeah. I think the quality looks really nice. I really like the the picture on this. So, anyways, it's got some weird quirks in the cat in the gallery and the camera. And speaking of that, when it does that, it really loads up. I don't know if you notice, I've gotten uh, I'm running out of storage space. I really only put one big game on there. But the fact that it's taking a lot of my photo space because I've added in Facebook and Dropbox and my Google Plus photos. Uh, 16 gigs only leaves me with actually 9 that I'm available to play with. Um, it really starts hampering down and this is why I think you know definitely you'd want the SD card or in my case I'd want a bigger tablet. I really don't see why you'd get a tablet at only 16 gigs. But other than that I mean this this really handles nicely yeah, it's got a stunning display. I wish the gyroscope would be a little better at reacting to that because it's it's not a matter of it's stuttering or it's slow. It's just the gyroscope is really kind of weak, I think. But yeah, nice tablet. It's not for me. Maybe it's for you. Okay, thanks. I have a whole review up on the website, uh, androidcoliseum.com, and you can visit it there. Thanks.